you're about to watch the ultimate guide to creating Mogart files in After Effects and making sure they work flawlessly in Premiere Pro. Whether you're using them to create dynamic lower thirds to speed up your workflow or sending them to a client as a fully designed template, it's crucial they work every single time, no matter the input or brand style. I'm talking about customizable text, colors, duration, shapes and even font properties, all inside Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Let's say we're creating an animated lower third with a text layer and a shape layer as a text box. First, we wanna make sure that everything is fully responsive. This means if we add three or 303 characters, our design won't get all messed up. And more importantly, we need to think about the end user, making it as easy as possible for them to edit. To do this, we'll add a few simple expressions. And don't worry, you don't need to know anything about coding or JavaScript, I'll leave a link in the description with all of these expressions so you can easily copy them. First, we'll apply the source rect at time expression to the size property of our shape layer. This makes the text box automatically resize based on the text width and height. Obviously, it's missing some padding, so we'll add a slider control, name it padding, and update the expression so we can adjust the padding inside our Mogart file. Next, we need to make sure our text stays centered and within bounds, even when adding multiple lines. To fix this, we'll convert our text from point to paragraph and apply this expression to the anchor point of the text layer. Now let's add some animation, because no one wants boring static graphics in their videos. Boring! <laughs> I'll add a simple typewriter effect using a text animator for the in and out animation. But here's the problem, if we change the duration of our layer in Premiere Pro, the out animation will break. To fix this, we're going to create protected region from work area. We'll mark two sections, one for the in animation and one for the out animation. So when we adjust the length of our graphic in Premiere Pro, the animation stays intact. Now this was a simple lower third, but if you need something crazy with multiple text layers, dynamic alignment, or extra design elements, check out the video linked above. Now that our template is ready, it's time to convert it into a Mogart file. For this, we'll use the Essential Graphics panel. If you don't see it, go to Window, Essential Graphics in the top menu. Now we'll drag in every property we wanna control inside Premiere Pro. For text, source text, click Edit Properties, and check all boxes to allow font changes, size adjustments, and upper lowercase toggling. For text color, the easiest way is to add a fill color, then link it to the essential graphics panel. And for the text box, roundness to nicely adjust these rounded corners, fill color, stroke color, stroke size, fill opacity, and padding from the slider control we added earlier. To keep things organized, we can group properties into categories like text controls and box controls. Once everything is set up, go to Export Motion Graphics Template, and that's it. Now let's test our fully functional Mogart file inside Premiere Pro. Open the Essential Graphics panel, drag and drop our Mogart file into the panel. Great thing is we only need to import it once. Premiere Pro will store it for all future projects. Now when we drag our Mogart file into the timeline, all the editable properties pop up. Text, colors, fonts. Everything is fully customizable directly in Premiere Pro. And that's the ultimate guide to creating Mogart files or motion graphics templates in After Effects. Do whatever you want with them, but be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more After Effects and video automation tutorials. See you in two weeks.